I was hoping you could have a gander at Penelope for me. Food falls right out of her mouth. She's taken after a keeper, I fear. Why doesn't that surprise me? I notice she can't even close her mouth completely. <laughs> it's a bit rough. She's always hungry. No point in piddling around. I'll get the sedation started. Don't worry, honey. We'll have you fit as a fiddle in no time. Know how to spell hippopotamus? I still have to look it up and I've been working with him for years. Yeah. Besides the eating problem, everything's normal. No. What do you think? Is everything normal? You sure know your stuff. Pulse is A-OK. -okay. I reckon I'll never like this part. A little lower than normal. Not to worry, it's probably just the anesthesia. Poor gal didn't get to finish a meal. Let's get this to the lab lickety split. There you go. Make those teeth nice and even. I suppose that went well. Don't be a Fruit Loop. It went better than well. Penelope's bushy tail. Great job, Doctor. It's a good thing Richard brought this to your attention. Overgrown teeth can make it difficult, even impossible, for an animal to eat. If not treated in time, Penelope's troublesome teeth could have caused weight loss, weakness, and infection. Fortunately, trimming her incisors will allow her to eat normally again right away. You made the right call on that diagnosis. Excellent job of getting the patient's history. Superb job with this one, doctor.